Welcome back to automation. Where last time, I will be honest, we committed the biggest sin of them all. We absolutely ruined a pickup truck, but I gotta say it was one of the fastest cars that we've ever built in this game. And today, I want to try to raise that bar even higher by building a race car. We've got a couple of different options for our race car. We've got these like LMP prototype built cars, which could be super cool. We've got like LaFerraris over here. 787B, hello. Every single person in Twitch chat is saying we've got to use the wannabe 787B. Oh boy. Okay, so this is gonna be our race car for today. Carbon fiber is a little bit lighter than fiberglass, so we'll stick with that. And then we've got a couple of different options for our engine placement. I think we'll start with this and figure it out from there. Push rod suspension in the front and the rear of this thing. And then we've got to build our engine. We've got a Mazda 787B, right? Which is very famous for being one of the best sounding cars in the world. So why don't we go and swap in some of the best sounding engines in the world? A big old V10. Why don't we make this thing a 4.8 liter V10 and copy the Lexus LFA? Twitch chat, do we turbocharge this thing? Ball bearing turbo? This thing would be unreal powerful. We're building a race car. We should probably try to make it pretty fast. So let's go with that. No catalytic converter, no muffler, no secondary muffler. I apologize if you see this car drive past because if you do, you will immediately catch cancer. Right, right off the bat, we've got 400 horsepower. That's not bad, but I think we can do a little bit better with some tuning. Let's see. Well, okay. Now we've got 40 horsepower. The thing that made the Mazda 787B so famous is that it revved to, I'm not even joking, 1 billion RPM. And that's what I'm going to do in this. 12,000 RPM. As close as I can, okay? Everyone's saying, I don't think this engine will last very long. Boys, you gotta believe. Automatic test. an engine 800 horsepower 750 foot pounds of torque let's give it one more test to make sure it works and doesn't actually explode this time okay when this thing gets above 8,000 rpm i actually orgasm the pistons are experiencing high levels of rpm stress consider lowering the rpm limit nah I, I, I'm, I'm good now that we finished up the color now is the time when we can pull this thing out and make it look insane if kim kardashian was a car no it looks like pinocchio now what the hell are we doing yo we're like that ramp car from fast and fury no we can't do that i'm sorry those are our headlights those are incredible that's actually not that bad whoa 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 if if you don't know why this is so cool all these race cars when they're doing their like endurance races they have a number on the side exactly like that that pops up with what position they're in that is so cool can i give this thing like a tiny little mouth that is the creepiest smile i have ever seen on the front of a car that's terrifying i need some vents that go up on the top here that'll make it look super legit i have never built a car in this game that actually looks good and i'll be honest so far at least I I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we've apparently reached the part of the video where this goes from looking pretty cool to um, not, not, not so cool. Yeah, that's it's definitely a roof scoop. I'm gonna say the front is perfect and I've nailed it and we will move on. The McLaren speed tail design doesn't play well to having a diffuser on the rear. Like, I, I, I honestly think that's the best we're gonna get for a diffuser with this thing. How about that for a rear wing? 
I, I think that looks pretty good as well. I think, I think we'll be happy with that one. Is there anything else I want to put in while we're here? More diffuser! No. There's a slight issue with this vehicle that if you looked out of the wing mirrors, you'd only see the rear wing. So I, I think I have a way of fixing that. You'd definitely be able to see what's behind you now. That is a perfectly good looking race car. And is way too realistic for me, honestly. Twitch chat is telling me a very, very good point. A race car needs as much downforce as possible. That is what I call downforce. We now have a wing in the front. That Wait, wait, wait. I can do even better than this. That is even better. Well, hold on. I can do even better. I have one, two, three, four, five, six rear wings. All right, time to, uh... Time to fix up these wheels because, let's be honest, they're the worst looking thing in the world. This is going to be a single seater race car, basic interior, entertainment will be, uh, not none. Power steering, maximum traction aids, only ABS please, safety equipment, uh, none. This graph is actually super cool, so the car is genuinely going to oversteer most of the time. So, we're going to be a little bit of a drifty boy. But I think I'm willing to do it. The downforce at top speed is too high and causing the suspension to bottom out. We're gonna call it the wingman. <laughs> this car sounds amazing. Why does my car shoot flames out of the rear bumper and not out of my exhausts on the side? Anyways, let's see what it can do. Come on, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't turn. It genuinely doesn't turn. Guys, the amount of understeer that this thing has is unbelievable. Turn! I'm fu- You can see my wheels! Oh my god. Yo, it do- Problem- What the- Guys, slight problem. The car turns a thousand times better that the front wing fell off. My god. Yo, it works! Okay, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I'm- Turn! Turn! Please turn! Oh my god. Where are you going? My wing! That's pretty stance nation. Export to BeamNG Drive again. We'll give it another go without 15 wings. It actually turns! Yes, sir! Oh, it slides. Oh, it slides a lot. Nope, doesn't turn, doesn't turn, doesn't turn. Oh, forgot! Uh, this might very well be like one of the coolest cars we've ever made. But it doesn't turn even a little bit. Attempt number three for you stupid vehicle. Can we turn when we're going fast though? It works! It works! It doesn't work! If, if I don't have my rear wing... I genuinely can't drive. Okay. There's no spoon. Okay, we, we may have made a couple mistakes. I will be honest. This thing is so damn cool. 170 miles and I can't turn. Can't turn. Well... Um, I guess if we've learned anything today, you shouldn't trust me with the keys to your LMP car.